Okay, hello everyone. In spite of all the obstacles with internet, we want to give it a try and I want to have amazing conversation with Elena. I'm so happy to see her again. She is one of a kind and she's very, very gifted. And she's really a gift for us with her information and her message and knowledge. How are you, Elena? How are you doing in Ireland? Oh, <laughs> I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank you, um, Ireland. It's winter now. It's very cold and uh, we really feel the seasons, which is feeling in tune with nature, which is something good as well. So uh, I'm very well and uh, I'm very happy to, to uh, chat with you again. Me too, very much. And we, we will try with internet if it goes through. If it's challenging, then we will connect again another time when you have time. Um, I would like to start our chat today with a very important question, which is about protecting ourselves from energies that are coming either from individuals, like uh, people who are negative, or from the devices. And before I let you answer, I want to ask you this. More and more, I see people, Elena, are selling those products that are like uh, changing frequency in the room or, you know, uh, you put on your phone stickers. And I am kind of like not sure about it. So I want to ask you, those kind of products, do they even help with energies or we don't need them really? I believe that the stickers don't work uh, because, I mean, when you put a sticker on your phone to stop the bad vibrations, if your phone still works and you still can use your phone, that means the sticker is not working because you shouldn't, if it was working, you shouldn't have any more uh, reception and, you know, on your phone, that, 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 that'd, be, that'd be the end of it. So that for me, that, that's it. Um, you have to be very careful, but you know, you don't need to buy devices. That's just uh, merchandise and people making money with, yeah. you know, with the, the sense and the ignorance of people. Um, we all have the power to protect ourselves. We all have this power. It's just in our mind. In our mind, we all have a tremendous energy that we do not use all the time but we are all very powerful and we, we just have to believe we have this power and we do not need any devices. Well, I was aware, I'm going to show you a Merkaba in crystal. Okay. okay like you see it. Let's see. Um, this is enhancing my energy field and also creative shape uh, waves, you know, um, sacred geometry um, frequency yes. and that that is strengthening yes my light and strengthening my protections but um you also need to protect yourself physically from what well, energetically which is part of your physical being bodies um there are many techniques the the most important Important, whatever techniques you choose to do can be creating a Merkaba or a sphere of light around you. You can uh, call the four upon the four directions, do some magic because I'm uh, very versed in magic, and I can. I, I have few videos um, on my, my my YouTube for free that uh, how to protect yourself. It's available for everyone. Um, so whatever you do. This will work only if it comes from within, from the heart. First in your heart, you need to find your strength and believe in yourself. Cast fear away. Hmm. And hmm. gathered in yourself, you recite a mantra to yourself saying, I allow only the beings with pure intention and walking in the light to reach out to me with my consent. Mm -hmm. That's an example. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and you find strength certainty and then you just expand it in the shape you want and you create around you the shape you want um you can create a sphere but when you go in the, in the crowd or in the supermarket for instance the fear is not great because it's interfering with the other bodies and the other auras so you can do your sphere of light your own light and then fit it to your body like have a suit you know fitted suit which is your protection you can do it. it's very easy and uh, it works well but it's first in inside from from the heart the consciousness and um always always and you need to be light to be the light inside to have no anger nor you know no jealousy no, because these feelings make make holes holes mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm protection in the shield fear anger envy sadness you know all these things um we all can do that and in these moments you know there's a big fight to do the greatest fight of mankind for its freedom and all the light workers we were talking about it just before this video all the light workers are being attacked Yes. And if you are not prepared, because it's a war, if you go on the battlefield without an armor, you're in trouble. So I'm wearing my armor since I've taken upon my task, you as well. And uh, it's just reminding everyone else that wear your armor of light, which is structured from within. So that would be my advice. Okay, thank you. And I want to ask you, because I do feel and know from experience about angels like Archangel Michael and angelic protection. Can I ask you, we haven't talked about this in our first conversation, the presence of angels, how would you, how, for you, how do you see that, Elena? The angels are, are very are very good, powerful allies. Um, to me, they are supra consciousnesses uh, linked with the orb of the earth, Gaia, the spirit, the soul of the, this planet. They are like guardians, um, for instance, um, and um, asking. Um, requesting for their protection is very good. Never summon any any angel because that's rude. Summoning is rude. <laughs> Request, ask politely. And Michael is the the one who fights the darkness. Michael is a very good ally, and is he would be the one I would um, I would call upon. Now. Uh, maybe some light workers know this but there is a way to bind you uh, in the protection of the four archangels and this is very powerful so this works with the four directions north east south and west so with the cycle of the sun in the east the sunrise um south midday west sunset and the north is midnight so it's very easy you don't need a compass you just know basically more or less where the sun rises and sets where you live everybody knows this so it's very easy so whatever hour of the day of the, or the night, you turn to the point, you face a point of the east where the sun rises and you gently ask the protection. So uh, of Michael, mm -hmm. uh, it, can be Mike, it can be Michael or Gabriel, but I like to call Michael in the, the east, the sunrise, because it's the power of the sunrise. And Michael is young, is the archangel, which is sometimes represents like a child. So you 
is the power of the rising sun, the sphere of light. He can be invoked in the south as well, you choose, but I like to invoke him in the east. So um, you invoke his protection, that the rising light protects you. Mm -hmm. And then you turn towards the south and you call Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Gabriel is, is the messenger. The great powerful of all powerful is the general of armies is associated with the Celtic god Lu is, is very powerful. Is in the south is the solar power and the messenger. So you call upon the protection of Gabriel. Michael in the east, Gabriel in the south. You can swap these both. They work for both directions, east or south. It's how you feel it yourself. Then you turn to the west, clockwise. So you've seen east, south, west. West is then sunset. It's the waters. It's Raphael. Raphael is the healer, the medicine the doctor, the healer. So you invoke his protection to heal every attack, every pain, every wound, that everything is healed from within to without. Um, and then you turn to the north, the last one, it's U Uriel, Uriel, it's a lady archangel. Uriel is the earth. earth. So she will regenerate you and protect you as well. So you have Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. If so, you do it with your words clockwise, it's very important. Start by east, and this is absolutely unpassable. N nothing can break this because you have performed a circle and uh, you are powerfully protected. This is beautiful. You can light a candle at each direction as well, it works well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love this, Elena. This is really beautiful. I can literally see this. I think internet is breaking. Yes, internet is breaking. But I will let me ask you know what I think. I will ask you maybe one more question and then we connect again because I feel like this, this what you just said is the most important message right now for those who will be watching. Um, I actually felt this when you were saying about asking for their protection. I could, f I could see this movement, like a positioning. Very beautiful. Elena, I want to ask you about the world that we will be living in, which will be a beautiful world, but that world will still have a contrast because contrast is important for the universe to be dynamic, right? For the evolution, for the expansion. Um, yes. I was thinking about certain beings, um, grace or reptilians, and I know there are different kinds of them within them is not all of them are the same they vary they are also on a journey of evolution right everything is evolving in the universe even the lowest creatures right so yes yes right because that's the law universal law so i was thinking now in one of your interviews, you said that they actually they have been like removed before into different dimensions, lower dimension, lower frequencies, lower dimensions, like kicked out in a way. But I am I am just thinking now how 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 what kind of contrast we might be experiencing on the higher in the higher awareness that we will be living that better world. What, what, what are your thoughts? What, what is your inner knowing about it?
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I, I have difficulty to hear you. Okay, so what do you think will be our contrast in the near future? Um, our contrast in the near future. Um, I have had difficulty to hear your question. Um, Oh yes, I, I I I understand now. Well, evolution is always a dynamic between the force of destruction and the force of creation. This is what makes the universe goes round. Uh, if it was only creation, it wouldn't work. Something when something is created, something is to be dis destroyed. It's the cycles of life of recycling matter, mm -hmm. and uh, it's always a dynamic forces. So. Uh, I believe what my 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 friends <laughs> upstairs, as I say, uh, believe as well. It, I mean, it the source of all life is one as well as dual. There is it, it's a force of creation and destruction in the same time. Both are one, and that's the universe how it works life to create life you need to recycle matter and it's a cycle and the cycle between the both and the dynamic between the both creates a, a, a flow and an energy and kind of a fight and a resistance and contrast mm -hmm. that is necessary for the universe to stick together in the structure so every being that is created can choose which dynamic mm -hmm. will be better for their evolution. Some choose the path of creation, some choose the path of destruction. And sometimes it's not just as individual, it is as species, cultures. Yeah. Um, but one or the other always works, will work out in, in, the, in the cycle. I think we will uh, we will experience the both still within us, um, but uh, because we are quite balanced here in on, on Earth, we always have the free will, the choice between the both. You know that's very interesting. So we will always have challenges coming regularly to force us to create this dynamic to just pass to the next step. That's what's happening now. We we are we are are being confronted to the uh, uh, destruction yes. uh, dynamic thing to push you, force you to extract ourselves to the higher level. And that's what's happening at the moment. That's why we are urging everybody to wake up, uh, open your eyes, see what's really ha are happening. And if you just realize and what's happening and just open your eyes and realize in your heart what's really going on. You just see things from a higher perspective and you just do the higher step, you know. It's just about, I think, breaking the, the matrix of the illusion of fear. Fearful of many things and first fear of ourselves. Exactly. Yep. We can do it. Yep. We can do things. Yeah, because yeah. we don't trust ourselves. And this is where is the the, 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 the core. No, not enough. Mm -hmm. Not enough. Yep, exactly. That's so true. Eliana, thank you so much for today. I think we will end here because the internet is not our best friend today, but that's okay. I feel like I will see you. I will see you soon. Yes, trusting ourselves first, finding our own power. Yeah. Thank you so much for today. I feel like we have to stop here because today was a very strange day energetically.
and the, yes the internet is also the representation of this like it's not smooth so i think yes and it, yes we will yes. stop here and then we will connect another time so thank you everyone for watching and we I yes mean, I, I, we have no control over this we try our best but i know that you will benefit when we have smooth conversation in the future so i will just stop here